All right, just something real quick. We had a dev stream today, which was very interesting. And there were a lot of things that they talked about in that stream that were exciting. For example, the Volban and Ember reworks. I'm very excited for them. The design looks very interesting and I really like the idea of calling down a SPACE LASER! But I'm just worried about the numbers involved with these reworks. Another thing that was also brought up, and this is the main point of contention that I have today, is this idea of having extra slots on our primary and secondary weapons and also melee weapons but not before the melee rework is completely done. Now, on principle and in theory, this is a good idea, but in practice, I'm not sure how effective this is going to be. Here we have the Paris Prime build, the super duper big dick awesome overpowered Paris Prime. <laughs> The apple of my eye, the fruit of my loins. Mmm, 106 rolls. Anyway, in this build there are at least three mods that are considered staple mods for the Paris Prime. Serration, Split Chamber, Riven. Three high capacity mods that are um, staple mods. Uh, if you're, if you're, for most weapons you have at least two of these that are staple mods, right? Whereas if we jump over to the Warframe, that already has Exilus mods, name me a staple mod for a Warframe. Maybe Prime Continuity, but everything else is up in the air. Not every Warframe needs strength, not every Warframe needs range. Most Warframes would need something like Streamline, I guess. But this is not high capacity and there are some some builds where you don't necessarily need streamline at all i would argue that oberon doesn't necessarily need to need streamline just keep that efficiency at 100 percent and you'll be fine so rage tanks don't necessarily need efficiency right there's two things that warframes have that give it the ability to use exless mods compared to weapons like i just said First off, they don't necessarily have high capacity staple mods. And secondly, they have auras. War, uh, weapons, primary weapons, don't have auras. Secondary weapons don't have auras. Melee weapons have stances, but stances are not as strong when it comes to giving um, extra capacity compared to auras. But still, they have stances. So it's going to be a lot easier to put an Exilus uh, mod on a weapon than it is to put it on a, uh, sorry, a melee weapon than it is to put it on a primary weapon. And that's going to be, I think, the biggest contention when it comes to this particular edition. How are we going to approach having an Exler slot behind me, behind my head, behind my head, right there, next to Effective Clip Vital Sense? How are we going to approach this when? weapons typically are built in such a way that they don't have a, an abundance of capacity left. So far, there's only one weapon that can have and typically has an abundance of capacity left and surprise surprise it happens to be a melee weapon. It's the Paracesis, uh, of which I've actually decided I'm not going to use that skin. It's the Paracesis. Because the Paracesis goes all the way up to rank 40, so without doing anything, it has an abundance, a real abundance of capacity. I'm not aware of a single primary weapon build that is considered complete, that has an abundance of mod capacity. I certainly don't have one, because I don't, I don't like, you know, I don't go for the 6060 mods instead of the 165% plus 90% mods uh, for, for elemental damage if I'm trying to go for that elemental damage, okay? Maybe my DiQ has an abundance of capacity or maybe it will have an abundance of capacity the moment I decide to put some former... I'm not even using the 6060 mods actually, sack that, that's right. Like. Maybe my DiQ. Maybe. Just maybe. But here's the thing. With the Paris Prime, for example. What is an uh, what would be considered an excellent slot 
Or rather, what would be considered an Exodus mod? Eagle Eye? I can't fit Eagle Eye even with a former. So, Agile Aim? I still need a former to fit that in. So, do you... Do, are we, are we understanding like what the problem might be? That even with an additional former on the Exilus slot, typically, we still can't fit an Exilus mod in. That is considerably useful. Maybe Arrow Mutation becomes an Exilus mod. Oh, that'd be great. Maybe Thunderbolt would be an Exilus mod. That'd be great too. But I can't fit that in. Unless I massively reduce my damage by using regular cryo rounds as opposed to prime cryo rounds if we have a look at that viral damage stat it goes down by about a third why would i do that just so i can fit an exless mod in so bottom line tldw i don't think an exless mod by itself is going to be useful on a primary weapon. I think there needs to be something else. Whether or maybe the Exilus slot just doesn't take any capacity, as suggested by Brozyme. That could be a little bit on the absurd side, but it would go further in fixing this issue that I'm that I have identified right now. And that he's probably identified as well. But I identified it as well. Um, there needs to be something else. To, to, ra to rectify this problem, I think. Otherwise, I don't see the Exilus slot being used a whole lot outside of some weapons with really bizarre builds built specifically for somewhat unusual purposes. Anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!